The connection between temperature and how quickly molecules of gas move is really important, because if you keep decreasing the temperature of a gas to the point where the molecules have no heat energy and no kinetic energy, they can no longer move and won't occupy a measurable volume. We can see this when we decrease the temperature of an ideal gas, as its volume also decreases. If we plot this on a graph with temperatures degrees Celsius, we get a straight line. If we were to follow this straight line and extrapolate it back to the point at which the volume of the gas is zero, the temperature at that point is very close to minus 273 degrees Celsius. This point is considered absolute zero and is theoretical. We can't actually get things quite that cold. At this point, an ideal gas has zero heat energy, meaning its molecules can't move, and this is why it has no volume. As a result, we start a new temperature scale here called the Kelvin scale, and this point is zero Kelvin, zero K. This new temperature scale now links the energy of a gas to its temperature properly, unlike degrees Celsius, where zero degrees Celsius doesn't mean zero amounts of heat energy. Usefully, a change in one degree Celsius is the same as a change in one Kelvin. One Kelvin, however, isn't the same as one degree Celsius. From its starting point on the graph, we can see that to convert between degrees Celsius and Kelvin at 273, Zero Kelvin is the same as minus 273 degrees Celsius, and zero degrees Celsius is the same as 273 Kelvin. When something's temperature is measured in Kelvin, we describe its temperature as absolute, as the temperature value is going to be directly linked to the amount of thermal energy it has.